let's talk about infective endocarditis infective endocarditis is a serious infection of endocardium of the heart particularly the heart walls and is associated with high degree of illness and death the prototype lesion of uh, infective endocarditis is a vegetation which is very important which is a mass of platelets fibrin microorganism and scant inflammatory cells so the vegetation that consists of platelets fibrin microorganism and scant inflammatory cells the analogous process involves involving av shunts av arterio arterial shunts that is pda or coarctation of aorta is called as infective endocarditis coming to classification according to temporal evolution of disease acute endocarditis it is a hectically febrile illness that rapidly damages the cardiac structures seeds extra cardiac sites and if untreated progresses to death within weeks subacute endocarditis follows an indolent course it causes structural cardiac damage only slowly rarely metastasizes metastasizes gradually progress unless complicated by a major embolic event classification according to involvement of walls that is natal native wall endocarditis and prostatic wall endocarditis early prostatic wall endocarditis as endocarditis arises within 2 months of wall surgery late prostatic wall endocarditis as endocarditis arises after 12 months after surgery classification according to culture results culture positive infective endocarditis most commonly caused due to streptococcus viridis staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus gallulaticus and enterococci the culture negative infective endocarditis most commonly due to hessek group of organism coxelia burnetii bartonella species trypanophrema vipelli cornibacterium species so all these organisms cause culture negative infective endocarditis so healthcare associated infective endocarditis it includes nosocomial infective endocarditis as well as infective endocarditis arising from community after a recent hospitalization or as a direct consequence of long term indwelling catheters such as central venous lines and hemodialysis catheters the most common organism involved in nosso healthcare associated or nosocomial infective endocarditis is staphylococcus aureus coagulase negative staph and enterococci so these organisms uh, and definition is very important so coming to the clinical features of infective endocarditis first is cardiac manifestation very important is ccf congestive heart failure which occurs in 30 to 40% of the patients occurs as a consequence of wall dysfunction or occasionally intracardiac systole there can be perivalvular abscess there can be heart block there can be murmurs new person or regurgitant murmur due to valvular damage and ruptured cordae a changing murmur is a characteristic of infective endocarditis the murmur which keeps on changing due to the damage to the wall the non cardiac manifestations are fever chills and sweating anorexia weight loss and malaise myalgia arthralgia back pain arterial emboli splenomegaly clubbing and pitiki the neurological complications include a septic or purulent meningitis intracranial hemorrhage seizures renal complications include no hypocomplementemic glomerulonephritis embolic renal infarcts like flank pain and hematuria so these are the janvel lesions so janvel lesions are non tender erythematous hemorrhagic or fistular lesions often found on palms and soles seen in infective endocarditis so these are the oslers nodes this is tender or subcutaneous nodes these are the subconjunctival hemorrhages seen in infective endocarditis this is a photograph of splinter hemorrhages so roth spots these are white centered central retinal hemorrhages that are considered pathognomonic for subacute bacterial endocarditis 
फिर सेंट्रल रिटाइनल वाइट सेंटर सेंट्रल रिटाइनल इमरजेंस लाइक दिस द पैथोग्नोमिक ऑफ सब एक्यूट बैक्टीरियल एंडोकाइटिस uh coming to the modified duke's criteria for clinical diagnosis of infective endocarditis i'll just brush up through the brush through the important points a uh, positive culture typical for organism for infective endocarditis on two separate blood cultures viridin streptococcus streptococcus gallulaticus has a group and staphylococcus aureus or in community acquired endococci or persistently positive blood culture defined as recovery from a microorganism consistent with infective endocarditis blood cultures drawn should be 12 hours apart all of three or more set of more than four separate blood cultures the first and last drawn at least one hour apart single blood culture of coxillia brunetii one at then second one is evidence of endocardial involvement by positive echo or new valvular regurgitation increase or change in pre existing murmur these are some of the important points to be remembered out of modified duke's criteria minor criteria is predisposition heart conditions or injection drug use fever greater than 100.4 degree fahrenheit vascular phenomena phenomena like major arterial embolism septic pulmonary infarcts mycotic aneurysm intracranial hemorrhage conjunctival hemorrhage janvier lesions immunologic phenomena like lobonephritis osseous nodes growth spots re factor microbiologic evidence positive blood culture but not limited to major criteria or serologic evidence of an active infection of an organism consistent with infective endocarditis this is a minor criteria coming to anti thrombotic therapy in infective endocarditis so infective endocarditis with mechanical prosthetic walls infective endocarditis coronary artery stenting time limited dual antiplatelet therapy followed by aspirin indefinitely Infective endocarditis with atrial fibrillation with shared vas score more than equal to two. Anticoagulant therapy is indicated. Infective endocarditis with atrial fibrillation with mitral stenosis, regardless of shared vas score, anticoagulant therapy will be indicated in these conditions. Extra cardiac complications of infective endocarditis. One is mycotic aneurysm. Two to five percent of endocarditis patients, about fifty five. 50% of these cases involve cerebral arteries presence as headache focal neurological symptoms or hemorrhage cerebral hemorrhage could be monitored by angiography management some will resolve with effective antimicrobial therapy surgical therapy is required for aneurysms that persist and large or leak extra cerebral aneurysm patients presence as local pain mass focal ischemia or bleeding managed surgically screening abscess 3 to 5% of patients with endocarditis management is image guided percutaneous drainage or splenectomy indications of prophylactic antibiotics and infective endocarditis dental procedures risk of infective endocarditis is generally highest for dental procedures that involve manipulation of gingival tissue or perforation of the oral mucosa example tooth extraction drainage of dental abscess prophylaxis is not required for dental procedures like placement or removal of prosthodontic appliances placement or adjustment of orthodontic appliances routine and anesthetic injected through non infected tissue high risk cardiac lesions in which endocarditis prophylaxis is advised by dental procedures one is prosthetic heart valves prior endocarditis and repaired synoptic congenital heart disease including palliative shunts or conduit completely repaired congenital heart defects during the 6 months after repair incompletely repaired congenital heart disease with residual defects adjacent to the prosthetic material valvular plethy developing after cardiac transplantation it is indicated in certain respiratory tract procedures like tonsillectomy adenoidectomy and bronchoscopy with biopsy skin or certain soft tissue procedures patients undergoing surgical procedure for management of infected skin skin structure or musculoskeletal tissue should receive prophylactic antibiotic therapy prophylactic antibiotics are either cephalosporin or vancomycin patients um, cardiac surgery with prosthetic material patients undergoing surgery to place prosthetic heart valves or prosthetic intravascular or intracardiac materials should receive prophylactic antibiotics Uh, most commonly used antibiotic for this indication is cefalosporin which is 1 gram iv stat 